Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Today I'm going to talk about my Sennheisers and these are the HD 558 headsets that I've been using. I love these things. Uh, even though they are not completely noise canceling, uh, you do hear your surroundings around you and it, these are meant to do that. They have a open back on them to where, you know, someone knocks on the door, calls your name or whatnot, the phone rings, you can still hear it and be able to take care of whatever you got to take care of. I don't mind it too much, especially if I'm like watching YouTube videos or if I'm watching movies or if I'm doing like editing or playing around with the guitar. I can hear somebody knock on the door. I can hear the phone ring. I can, you know, it works out pretty good. What I've been using though, since you kind of see these and they're missing pieces, is I've been using the HDRs. This is the 175 headsets and uh, by Sennheiser. And these are really nice. They are completely noise canceling. You really do not hear anything come through these guys. They've got, instead of having the cloth, they got like a uh, vinyl plasticky type of a surround that goes around your ear to seal it up. The only bad thing about these things that I have to say, the sound quality is excellent with these, but the only bad thing I have to say is like if you cough or if you tap this side of the headset because it has the buttons on there, you get kind of like this weird, uh, I want to say like a springy sound. So these buttons are not really, they're push button, but they're not really like really tight. I can probably correct that by sticking a piece of foam inside of here and get, that'll get rid of it so these don't kind of suspend in floating air. So you kind of hear that in little noise. But other than that, the sound qualities are, are as good as these guys are. And But I like being able to have the open back and being able to hear my surroundings with those guys there. Uh, somebody taps me on the shoulder while I'm doing some editing or something that scares the shit out of me. So I thought I was going to be shit out of luck with trying to find replacement parts for the Sennheiser headsets for the uh, HD 558s because they're not that new. They're pretty old. And I kind of figured, well, am I going to have a hard time trying to replace the pads that go on this each side of the ear? Am I going to have a problem with finding a new wire for them? You know, what am I going to expect with trying to figure out where I'm going to get parts for these things to replace? Well, luckily, that's what this box here is for. I ended up going on uh, eBay and come to find out that there are a lot of companies out there that are selling parts for the Sennheisers, replacement pads and stuff like that for around the ears, even the top pad here getting to replace that, including the inner cups that go inside of to protect the uh, speaker area. Now. The bad thing is, it's from China. All right, so you're gonna to have to wait. I ordered these uh, probably a month ago and they finally showed up now. And I like these headphones even though they're wired. I liked them a lot better than those. Like I said, I can still hear my surroundings in case someone's calling up. So let's get this open over here and see how difficult, or even if I got the right parts, it's gonna to be to put this together. All right, so other than the outside wrapper, it is a plain box. There is no markings on it. doesn't say Sennheiser. doesn't say anything on them. So I'm going to go inside of this. Now, the old, the old pads that were on these were cloth. And I didn't like them that very much because they would get... You use your headphones a lot like I do. They'd get dirty, okay? They would get... Uh, uh, they started breaking down like around the seam on the inside of the pad itself. It started to break down to where it was falling apart. So that's why I ended up having to, wanting to replace it. So this, I have to see what this is. This is either Velcro, maybe not, I don't know. All right, so this is the upper pad that goes up here. And then you have the two pads that go on each side. And again, I don't know what this is for, but it's not a peel and stick, it's basically kind of like a, maybe a Velcro. All right, so it gives you two new inserts, two new pads to put inside of here, which are different than the ones that are were on here. The ones that were on here were kind of cupped a little bit and they snapped in. These just kind of fit right over it. So first off, I just want to see, you know, how well these fit over there. I mean, they're, they're going to work. Yeah, it looks like it is. All right, so the foam pads basically just go over the ear area. 
And actually, no, they don't. They go inside of the ear. And they go inside this. This is what goes in there. My bed. They go inside like that. They'll work themselves in after some use because this ring here has to snap on there. So it doesn't matter which side you put these on. But all you do is just snap right on. like so. And the pad gets pushed in there. Oh, this I didn't snap in yet. Now I recommend to do is use some rubbing alcohol in case there's some you know dirt, dust or anything inside of here, you know, clean it up with some rubbing alcohol. That's it. That's basically how they go on. So I'll go ahead and put the next one in. Now they do sell, I will put the link up in the description. Um, they do sell a lot of different Sennheiser uh, headset uh, pads for replacements. Um, it's supposed to be direct fit. So for whatever model number that you have, there is a somebody out there that's going to sell. Not all the sellers sell all the same things. So you have to look and make sure for the model number that you have matches the, headsets, the headset pads that you're looking for. All right, so did it snap on all the way around? That's it. I got a new set of head, headset uh, uh, pads. They fit pretty nice too. They're not bad at all. Actually, it goes this way. The, yeah, they fit really good. So I do want to replace this. So I got to peel this one off. Because this is also, you know, this is the cloth that was basically on these things. I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm noticing here, let's see, those are the screws for what? Okay, just for expansion. So I'm not worried about that. Now I want to clean off that residue of glue. So again, rubbing alcohol works pretty damn good for that. Rubbing alcohol, a little bit of uh, acetone will also work. But acetone, remember, will loosen up plastic, so you don't want to really have a problem with your plastic melting. Okay, this is a little part right here needs to come off. Sides are clean. Right, so I'm gonna put this back back on here. There is a seal that goes around the edge over here. Which side is the sticky side? They're both sticky sides. This probably helps with any vibration. There's something I'm ready to peel off. Get off I'm ready to get doubled up on it maybe. Alright, that's better. Alright, put that back. Get into you. Alright. So I will get the new pad. Which is kind of nice. I use 3M, 3M adhesive on this. How did I miss that? There you go. I know I didn't miss it this time. And this is directional, so you want to follow how it is laid out on the back of here. So there is one flat side and then there is a curved side. And this is the flat side. And this is the curved side. All right, so there you go. Brand new Sennheiser pads. Direct fit. 
should be nice and comfy now. So like I said at the bottom, I will put a link in the description of where you could find parts for your Sennheiser headsets. Now they're good, as good as new. I can reuse them and I don't have to get rid of them, throw them away or anything else. The only thing I may have to do is swap out this one, turn it a little bit because it looks like the pad is a little bit different from one to the other unless I just have to break it in. But otherwise, I think that's about right. Nope, I'm going to switch this one. This way just by looking at the way that the pad sits like this. and if you would go back where you're supposed to go instead of giving me a hard time here supposed to be all right that looks better now they look more even nice sweet I got my own Sennheiser back you guys take it easy have a good one and I will catch up with you later